on an appearance today on Arise Television's morning show, a lady by the name of Yemi Adamoleku, who is the executive director of Enough is Enough, an NGO that presses for clean and fair elections, has said that the APC's argument for the gubernatorial election that comes up on Saturday, March 11th, 2023, is flawed, and that the narrative of trying to frame some of their opponents, like Badibo Rhodes Vivo, as an Igbo candidate, and then saying that they have a problem with Igbos who are seeing Lagos as no man's land, is not a good narrative because it can backfire on them and she gave examples she said yes that Manibo Rose Vivo might be married to an Igbo lady and there's nothing wrong with that I also agree with that but that even Bola Tinubu who has just been pronounced as the president-elect by the Independent National Electoral Commission is married to a Shakiri lady and that his son Shei is married to a Lebanese lady and that even the current governor Jide Sonwolu and Bola Tinubu himself are not originally from Lagos now Bola Tinubu might dispute that but anyway watch this video put your comments in the comments section playing with a very dangerous tone with ethnic baiting um, the candidate of the Labour Party is half Igbo and he's married to an Igbo lady and we've turned this whole narrative around Lagos being hostile to Igbos Igbos not welcome and his heritage now being a subject of conversation might I remind members of the APC that Mr. Bola Tinumbu is married to a Shekiri lady and his, his son Shei is married to a Lebanese lady and so if we want to talk about who people are married to as it, the legitimacy to be Lagosians, it's a challenge. Mr. Tinubu himself is not from Lagos, and so and neither is the current governor. Mm. And, I, and I'm saying this particularly because if we're not careful, we're all in this Lagos together. And if we're not careful how we frame these conversations, it will affect all of us on election day. Sorry. And I might also add, for APC that wants to make Igbos their challenge, let's not forget some of the things that have happened under this administration that are part of what people are reacting to. We've had NSAS, we've had forced evictions, we've had impounded cars that were auctioned off. So there are enough grounds, reasons for people to be upset. But I raise that because we need to be mindful. And again, for security agencies, for states like, again, Lagos, Rivers, Kano, where presidential elections show flashpoints, that we need to be prepared for that. And lastly, for INEC. From lessons learned on logistics, members of your staff and uploading or not uploading, how they are doing polling unit results, let it be possible for people to vote. He's a master, only one man against the old world in large, fighting with the monsters, poverty I can't stand.